Happy birthday, Lucas. Thank you. It is near day 30 for my 30th birthday for the lockdown in Shanghai. White chocolate. Yes, as I said earlier, it is my 30th birthday and we're coming in on day 30 of the lockdown in Shanghai. Uh, tomorrow will be day 30 uh, for us. And, um, yeah, you know, it's a great joy to have gotten that cake. I was really not expecting that. And uh, it really means a lot to me, as do the birthday wishes that I got uh, and the uh, wishes to live long and prosper, uh, because my co-workers know that I am a huge uh, Star Trek fan. And, um, yeah, I, I just... Not very many of them watch uh, watch this channel, but um, if you do, if you are watching it right now, if you have watched it, uh, thank you, and thank you to the other others that don't watch my channel. I really appreciate it. I've already told them in you know messages and in in a, a meeting today at work, but um, yeah, it was really sweet and. Uh, fills my heart with joy, makes this by far the best day of uh, the lockdown um, easily. And I didn't have to take a PCR test, which made it even better. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't really mind. It's a short process, you know, but uh, doing them every day or every other day is, you know, just a, it's like the only time I get to go out really. And it's ugh, so draining emotionally. But, um, yeah, how are things going? Well, we just got two more packages of food uh, a couple days ago. We have a mountain of bread and way too much butter and a whole bunch of milk and uh, sugar and salt and vegetables and some fruit and potatoes and stuff like that. So we'll be good for a while. Um, so that's making it easier. I just, you know, I really miss going on walks and seeing things in the distance. <laughs> uh, in terms of how I'm doing psychologically, uh, much better than I was two weeks ago. That's for sure. Yeah, on good terms here. Um, and yeah, now that I'm adapting. Uh, I'm able to read and, and watch movies and TV uh, and, you know, play video games if I don't feel like doing any of those things. Uh, playing video games the least amount. I just played again today just to have a little bit of fun. And I did have fun. Um, yeah, uh, recently uh, I watched superhero movies. I watched Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, it's pretty cool and fun. Uh, but I don't like it. It doesn't work by itself, and, uh, yeah, I, uh, but it was cool to see, you know, all those connections with the old movies and, you know, changes in the characters and stuff like that, but too much CGI is going on for my brain right now, <laughs> and, uh, I don't really feel invested in the characters, but, uh, I also watched The Batman, a little too long for my tastes, but uh, really, really well done. Very cool. I like that. Works for Batman. Yeah. Dark and gritty. And I love that it's a detective story. And I love that Penguin is like a middle manager mob boss that doesn't get the respect he feels he deserves. And the Riddler is a total dweeb. And uh, yeah, there's corruption galore in, in, in Gotham. And yeah, I think it was really well executed overall. Um, I've also been watching watching some wuxia films uh, from a director that I believe is from Hong Kong, but directed movies in Taiwan, uh, or maybe he's from Taiwan, uh, King Hu, and uh, yeah, Dragon Gate Inn, fantastic, well the first half is fantastic, the second half is like cool action, but I don't understand what's going on really, <laughs> it's just a lot of action, but it's cool, um, it's all about it. Uh, corruption at the imperial level and so is uh 
reigning in the mountain, not on the imperial level, but corruption between two uh, officials, a general and like a landlord kind of person who are after the this great scroll from the monk uh, Tripitaka, and um, who is the monk, I believe, from Journey to the West. Uh, if you know, you know, that's a big deal. Um, really cool film, uh, lots of corruption, not as much action, which makes it much better, uh, much more coherent. It has a great uh, chase scene at the end, by the way. Um, highly recommend it if you have the opportunity. Um, uh, yeah, see some corruption there. Um, not just with these two officials, but with the monks themselves. Uh, and yeah, lots of great characters, really great movie. Um, and then I've been wa reading uh, Xia Tian Min's uh, short novellas, which are fantastic. <laughs> this guy, I've never heard of him. I bought this book years ago, uh, and, but it is, it is really, really very good. Um, it really, they, the stories I've read so far really focus on the um, bureaucratic hell, so to speak, uh, and force and pressure put on by the uh, governments that these people uh, in rural parts of China are facing. Uh, this is from the, he's an author, I believe, from the 80s and the 90s, from what I've seen. And, um, or maybe just the 90s. I don't know if he's still alive or still writing or what. I don't know his life too much, but, um, you know, I there's this part I was reading earlier, um, and I just, it just resonated so much <laughs> with uh, how I feel right now. Um, you know, I try not to get too political, but... Um, yeah, there was just this character who was faced with the task of preserving these black-necked cranes uh, because it's they're like a rare species and the government wants to make this a tourist attraction. Uh, and one person is like, you know, who's that going to help? Who's really going to come and, and this kind of thing? Uh, wants, wants to make sure that these birds stay alive because they're in, like an endangered species or whatever. Um, and this guy's like, we only have enough food to feed ourselves or feed the birds. We can't feed both. We're all starving and, and some troubles. And this uh, government official comes and he yells, is this is this a CP, CCP's <laughs> plan? Just don't let us start. Anyway, uh, I just, I haven't been uh, without food for quite some time, but uh, definitely a couple of weeks ago, I was definitely thinking <laughs> I had that sentiment. Um, you know, make of the CCP what you will. I'm not here to um, tell you one way or the other. That's for you to decide. Uh, but definitely what I just read in that novella, I felt it. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, that was written for a different time. This is just a hot mess everyone's struggling with. Um, and some people are more unfortunate than my girlfriend and I have been, so <sighs> that's tough, but uh, thank you.